Okay, so we're going to do some quiz problems here. And the biggest thing I want you to remember is that um, whatever I'm doing on here, if uh, you don't put that on the quiz, you run the risk of losing points. So put all this stuff down there when you're taking the quiz. So depending on what I'm going to do here, maybe I'll just highlight where these things are first so I get a decent idea of where everything is. Don't highlight on top of each other because it changes the colors. So I usually highlight like that. So there's what I have A, B, and A, C. Maybe I'm already kind of like, oh, wait, this is probably what I do. I'm going to highlight that one too. So there's all of that stuff. And then I'm looking for the geometry word or phrase or whatever. I've got bisect in there. And I'm going to write down two equal parts. So I've got that. And then again, maybe I think about it. I'm like, all right, well, where are the equal parts? And then I'll mark them there and there. Okay, and maybe I'll even write it down. Yellow equals green. Okay, now I don't have the green is the problem. I don't have that, but I have blue. So can I somehow relate yellow to blue? So hopefully what you're thinking is, well, isn't yellow half of blue? And it is, all right, so I'll write that down. Yellow equals one half of blue. I hate one halves, so I would then say, well, that means it makes two yellows equals a blue. Now, these right here, if you didn't have these, that didn't matter. This one's the one you want, all right? Two yellow equals a blue. Because now my equation is just gonna be two times four x plus five equals 10 x minus two, and I'm gonna solve it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna solve all of these probably very quickly in these videos because Honestly, that's not what geometry is testing. You're supposed to be an algebra expert when you get to geometry. Not that I think all of you are algebra expert, but I think you're algebra efficient. All right, so x is 6. Please don't stop there. Notice there's a 6 right there. So that's almost definitely not the answer to the question. It wants b, c. Now, if I wrote all my notes down, I've got this right here, that yellow equals green. All right, well, that means if I find yellow, which is 4 times 6 plus 5, whoops, I get 29. That's yellow, which is also green, all right? So it's 29, all right? We are going to count work in your multiple choice questions. Make sure you show it. If you just circle the right answer and there's nothing else there, you're only going to get a point, all right? All of that work has to be there.